Harley-Davidson's 2021 CVO Road, Glide is a bona fide showroom showstopper with lots of chrome and a trio of new paint packages. Powered by a top-of-the-line Milwaukee 8 117 engine the largest production machine from MoCo to date this machine is equipped with driving safety features that keep all controls under control. The stock bag and fairing complete the bagger ensemble to make this a bike worthy of the accomplished rider looking to tour, cruise, or just bruise the boulevard. Overall, the CVO Road Glide sports a classic style front fender under a frame-mounted shark nose fairing that separates the family from the Batwing FL model. Around the back of the wide front fairing and its cut smoked glass, you'll find instrumentation in a pair of analog gauges for speed, tack, LED indicator lights, and a color TFT interface display for the boom, the GTS infotainment system. Harley retains XP. Overall XP life as model set by CVO Road Glide before, operates sales manager, but the difference makes all the difference in the world on at least one of the three packages that cut the number, Sunset Orange and Sunset Black Fade packages trade most of the blackout treatments from last year for lots of bling in the chrome forks, bars, turn signal housings, exhaust, engine trim and more. But the single-tone bronze armor model features a contrasting smoke satin finish on the fork sliders, exhaust and engine trim along with the same blackout bits from last year. The black hole model takes monochromatic treatment to the nth level with glossy black paint on the bodywork and blackouts and almost everything else. So far the overall package of the CVO Road Glide is pretty close to standard for an HD touring lineup, but its heartbeat sets it apart from the big bikes in the lineup with a monstrous 117-inch 1923cc. Milwaukee 8 Factories. It's a true sports fan, it's the biggest production machine to date built by MoCo. Built around a classic FL frame, the CVO Road Glide retains the large double downtube double cradle format and beefy front end that has always belonged to the HD Touring family. The steering head rises at 26 degrees which is a bit short for a bagger, but the offset in the fork puts the effective fork angle at 29.25 degrees which is closer to expectations. The fork is not only large in diameter, it also carries an old-fashioned beer skirt over the top fork tube which makes it look fatter.